off, I want to thank everybody for being here. For those of you who don't know me or follow me, my name is Kenny Coulter, and I recently completed my eligibility playing college football at Northwestern University. A little bit about myself, I'm very passionate about college athletics, and I'm very passionate about making sure all student athletes are afforded their basic rights. My goal is to make sure that all student athletes are set up for success long after their playing days are over. Unfortunately, basic, basic necessities struggle be, to be delivered to the student athletes despite the billions of dollars being generated annually. Never should a student athlete be forced to pay his or own medical bills from their playing days. The same medical issues that professional athletes face are the same medical issues that collegiate athletes face, except we are left unprotected. Medical protection isn't the only concern. The national graduation rate for FBS football players and D1 basketball players hovers around 50%. This is a terrible trend that needs to change as this does not set these student athletes up for success as they venture on to their later on in life. I came to the conclusion that this, these injustices occur in the NCAA because student athletes don't have a voice. They don't have a seat at the table. The current model is, resembles a dictatorship where the NCAA places these rules and regulations on these students without their input or without their negotiation. Last summer, I contacted Ramogi Huma to voice my concern over these issues and how I felt that this needed to change and we needed the same protections that NBA players have and NFL players have with the Players Association. And after years of advocacy, I was pleased to learn that Ramogi had come to the same conclusion. I decided to take this issue to my team after the season was completed. But in the meantime, we did some great things with the All Players United campaign as we generated awareness over this issue and uh, helped help show unity and show that every student athlete cares about his or own, her own rights. Now, after bringing this to the team, I'm pleased to announce that the Northwestern football players have signed cards authorizing the College Athletes Players Association to assert their rights before the National Labor Board and Regulation. The NFL has the NFLPA, the NBA has the NBAPA, and now college athletes have the College Athletes Players Association. I'm now going to read a statement on behalf of the current Northwestern football team. We, Northwestern football players, are grateful for our opportunity to play football for a prestigious university and athletic program. However, just as others who compete in multi-billion dollar industries have done, we must secure and maintain comprehensive protections by asserting the rights afforded to us under labor laws. We are not taking these measures out of any mistreatment from Northwestern. However, we recognize that we need to eliminate unjust NCAA rules that create physical, academic, and financial hardships for college athletes across the nation. This fight may take a while, and we understand that many of us may have graduated before players receive protections. We realize, however, that to remain silent while players are denied justice is to be complicit in inflicting injustice on future generations of college athletes. In waging our struggle, we will comply with all existing rules of Northwestern, the Big Ten, and the NCAA. We have taken a pledge not to discuss this any further. We ask Northwestern University and NCAA representatives not to contact us in regards to this matter. Any questions should be directed to the College Athletes Players Association and our spokesman, Ken Coulter. We look forward to staying focused in the offseason to prepare for a promising 2014 season. That's the end of the statement. I'd like to say that I'm very proud of our current players, and I ask once again that Northwestern officials, NCAA officials, do not contact them regardless of this matter, do not pressure these players, um, come to the spokesman. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of this day, and, and on that regard, uh, it's my privilege to introduce Leo Gerard, the international president of the school.